Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rosie's View. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about breakups. Yikes. Um, one of my rosebuds, I, uh, Emily, she asked me to talk about it because, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a follow-up to my relationships episode a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Um, so our thing we're going to be doing today is trying to collect wither skulls just because I kind of want to fight a wither in the next episode of Havoc. So yeah, that's just what we're going to be doing. And um, so you guys seem to really like that I was sharing personal stories um, in my last episode of Rosie's View, which I'm very sorry I made somebody all cry on that. I'm sorry. But um, y'all seem to like that I shared personal stories, so I'm going to kind of talk about my personal like past breakups. So because somebody asked, or you just you wanted to know what you do about breakups and how you deal with them. So I'll just kind of try to talk about that and, I don't know, get my input on it. I guess that's my view. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I've had four relationships that I kind of consider serious relationships in the past, like, five years. I like long relationships. I don't like short relationships. Um... Now, the first relationship that I count as a serious relationship was um, a year and a half long. <laughs> that took a while. Uh, but, eh, the breakup just kind of happened because we it was such a long time and things changed for both of us. Um, just a lot of things changed. We became really different people. And that's not saying anything bad, and I probably should go and get my... <laughs> looting a uh, sword for withers my smite sword but uh yeah that's not really saying anything bad we just were incompatible at that point so he kind of was just making excuses and he's the one that broke up with me at that point i'm getting hesaphorus out but he's the one that broke up with me because things were just not working out um he was making excuses like uh god hasn't told me that you're the right one yet which kind of made no sense to me. Um, I was just like, uh, he's not going to reach out of the sky and be like, hey, dude, she's the one. It's not, that's not how it works. <laughs> so I was kind of confused on that part. That definitely told me he was just making excuses. But um, it's all good, and things changed, and it all got better. And I um, ended up just, he got was ignoring me for an entire school day, and then I just told him, hey, if you don't want to be with me, just don't be with me. And so, we broke up. Uh, that relationship had a mutual ending, I guess, so I wasn't really that brokenhearted about it. So, with relationships, that's kind of the best way to do a breakup, is to where you both kind of just agree that, hey, this isn't working anymore, um, we're both not happy, uh, let's just end this. That's probably the best way to do a breakup, but unfortunately that doesn't happen that often. Um, he broke up with me in that situation, though I kind of instigated it, but um, <laughs> that was that was a year and a half, and we both just kind of grew apart. <laughs> so uh, the next relationship after that was one where I was legitimately brokenhearted after um, the breakup, because I was totally expecting that things would work out. Uh, it was a relationship that nobody else had influenced my decision on it. Nobody else had said, hey, you guys would be so cute together. You guys should date. It was our own decision, and so I thought it would work out, but it lasted like three months, and then things happened, and I am not seeing any withers. I'm probably looking in the wrong places, but anyway, it lasted like three months, and then just things happened. He found somebody else that he really liked, and how that breakup went down is my friend texted me, and she said, hey, uh, he's going to break up with you. Um, don't tell him I told you this, but he just told me he's going to break up with you, and I was like, you're, you're kidding me, right? Like, my heart sank, because he was my best friend before we started dating, and just so many things were happening, and it was just, I couldn't believe it, I didn't think she was telling the truth, I didn't think he was actually about to break up with me, and then he called me on the phone, and he broke up with me, so 
I literally, like, my heart sank and I cried for the longest time. I probably cried longer than I should have. Probably longer than it was worth. And there was a lot of complications with that relationship ending. A lot of um, things that happened because of it. And that was not a fun breakup. Um, breakups you don't want are when they'll have baggage like that. And um, I don't mean baggage like, hey, uh, here's your stuff that you left at my place or something like that. I mean baggage where it's like everybody knew about it. Everybody wants to know why it happened, what happened exactly, blah, 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 things like that. You don't want those breakups. You want to be, you want to still be friends with the person afterwards. You want to still be able to talk to them and not have people be like, one of y'all is a horrible person for the breakup. He broke up with me because he liked somebody else, and I was perfectly okay with that once I figured out exactly what happened. And, um, I mean, it, it was just something I accepted eventually, and uh, this happened about a year ago, actually. Uh, he actually, um, I talk to him, like, every day now. He is one of my really, really good friends who I talk to on a daily basis, and I goof off with, and it's not any problems anymore. Um, so we kind of fixed the whole, like, bad part of the breakup, but it did start off on a really bad note afterwards. Um, I, I think the way that I finally got over it was I... I just kind of went to my friend's house. It was one of those really dramatic breakups where I, like, wore black clothing for days and, like, had messy eyeliner, just depressed, and, um, like, you could, all, you could always tell that I had been crying, and it was bad, but, I mean, it kind of just happened. But, I mean, he's a really good friend of mine now. Um, I got over it because I figured out exactly his motives behind it and the reasons for it and things like that so it wasn't because either of us it was a bad person it was just because we had different plans so um, that's that <laughs> if I can think right I'm trying to find some wither skeletons I guess I have to go out on the bridge but I'm kind of lost right now but anyway so next um break up oh there's a wither skeleton come here Come here, bud. Come here. Did I get one? No. Dang it. Ooh. Did I get one? No. Dang it. I'm withered. So, the next breakup after that was my decision. Um. Who? Okay. Yeah. It was my decision. Um, I felt uncomfortable with the way that a relationship was headed. Um, if y'all don't know, I have a ring that is a uh, abstinence ring. If y'all don't know what abstinence means, that means uh, waiting till marriage to do things. <laughs> yeah, things. So, uh, I've got one of those rings, and he wasn't really okay with that. And I was very uncomfortable with the way things were headed, and I actually broke up with him the day after Valentine's Day because he was suggesting to come over to my house on Valentine's Day because he knew I was home alone, which that was not going to happen. I'm sorry, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I ended that relationship on my own, and we're kind of friends, kind of not really, like, we talk, but we don't really, like, hang out anymore that much, um, so I wasn't really brokenhearted about that one either, uh, that one only lasted a month and a few days, so, uh, okay. Next relationship was with this guy, and I felt really bad about this breakup. I broke up with him uh, because things were not... Hey, there's my portal. Things were not going right. Uh, he... I just... I got... I rushed in the relationship. I didn't know him enough. I didn't trust him. There were things that were going on in my life. I had just been diagnosed with depression, and I didn't know him well enough to trust him with some things in my life that... I really needed to talk to someone about, especially my boyfriend at the time. So even though he had a lot of things going on in his life at that moment, uh, he, his brother actually had just died in um, Afghanistan. And um, rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace. I feel really bad about that. But I just, it wasn't working out, so I told him, 
hey, uh, I think we should get to know each other better before we, um, before we experience a relationship. Um, I barely met you. When I met you, it was a setup anyway. Like we were set up to be in a relationship, and it's just it's not gonna work out if we don't know each other. So I told him that and <laughs> what is going on in chat. And eventually he was okay with it at first. He was really, really brokenhearted. And he actually was messaging me for days afterwards. And, like, we had a 30-minute conversation on the phone for that breakup. Um, but, like, he's try trying to guilt trip me now and saying, like, Hey, uh, I cried for, like, five days after we broke up and things like that. And, I mean, I feel bad, but don't try to guilt trip me, dude. It's not going to make your case any better. Um, that was one of those breakups that kind of, I hated doing it, but <laughs> it had to happen because things were not going to work out. Even though my family loved him, he was a good guy, I just, I, it wasn't going to work. So, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> so those are my breakups that have happened recently. Um, that last one that I just mentioned happened like two months ago now and I mean with breakups it just kind of it really depends on the type of relationship you had if you had a long meaningful relationship and the breakup came out of nowhere then I honestly would look into it and figure out why it exactly had happened especially if it was something like that you thought was going to work out really well and last for a long time I would really question why the person broke up with you because I mean with something that's that long term there's got to be a reason behind it and they owe you enough to tell you what the reason was because I mean that's <laughs> it kind of is a necessary thing you need to know what the reason was so if I were you I would do that Ugh. <laughs> I'm really really tired um Okay, and if it's just a short relationship that only happened, like, two days, only lasted, like, two days, um, <laughs> and they just randomly break up with you, they don't really owe you a excuse. They owe you a reason for why they didn't try, why they didn't attempt to make it last longer, why they just, hey, broke up with you after two days. You need to know, was it something you said? Was it something that... Um, they said was it someone else but you don't really like need to know all the details um but if they broke up with you okay breakups suck especially if the guy's gonna be a dick about it or the girl if they're going to be like hey um things aren't working and just text you just, just <sighs> don't break up with someone in a text message if you feel awkward about talking it in per talking about the breakup in person why don't you just freaking <laughs> why are you dating them in the first place if you're awkward enough to talk to them in person be respectful of the per people you are with honestly like that is my biggest pet peeve don't break up with somebody in a text message it's rude but like and especially don't be a dick about it like some people um just <sighs> somebody told me that they had a guy literally send her a song to break up with her. Like, rude. Can you not? Blah! I hate people sometimes. This is kind of a rant now. This isn't Rosie's view. This is Rosie's rant. Just, no, don't do that. Don't be stupid. Don't be a dick when you break up with somebody. Be polite. If you're going to break up with somebody, odds are you've been with them a while, or you at least know them well enough. Just explain give a good excuse before you're just like oh uh this isn't working bye give a good excuse be nice i didn't get one yeah anyway <laughs> okay now um how to break up with somebody honestly the best approach would just be hey can we talk and then talk to them and explain your situation, explain what's going on, 
then just break up with them. Um, tell them, hey, it's not working out. Uh, don't make excuses. Don't be like, it's not you, it's me. Don't be like, we can still be friends, if you don't mean it. I mean, obviously, if you mean it, then be friends, because friends are great. But <laughs> don't lie. Don't say something when you don't mean it. Don't say, oh, uh, I'm just not ready for a relationship right now, if you don't mean that. And don't be like, uh, maybe, oh, yeah! Yes! Got one! Don't be like, hey, uh, maybe in a few, in a few years, or a few weeks, or something, because then you'll just, you'll just get their hopes up, and that's just rude. Don't do, don't get people's hopes up. <sighs> mm. Frustrated. <laughs> Sorry. Um, because I have friends that deal with breakups all the time, and they're just rude people. Just don't... I don't know why people come to me for relationship advice. I mean, sure, I have long relationships, but I don't have many long relationships. I don't have short relationships either. I think the shortest relationship I ever had was, like, 24 hours long, because the guy... That doesn't even count that as a relationship. I just count that as uh, somebody told me to date them and said, I wonder if you could put up with me for 24 hours as your boyfriend. And I was like, fine, whatever. Don't question, it was like 6th grade. <laughs> I don't know. People are weird. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I... I'm not the best for giving relationship advice, but if y'all ever do need relationship advice, or if something's not working out in a relationship and you want to know what to do, just message me. Send me an email. I forgot I have an email. You guys can email me. Just do that. It happens. Yeah. What are you doing? Stop. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! No! No! <gasps> that skeleton has an enchanted bow. No! No! No, 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 no. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Gotta regen some hearts right now. Uh, we have one wither skull. I'm gonna have to buy some. Oh, I don't have a chest plate. That's why. I'm... St oh, I just, I'm stupid. Um. Anyway. Coco! Stop. Why are you in my room? <sighs> okay. I don't really know what else to talk about when it comes to breakups. Um, just like if you ever need any help getting over a breakup, um, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. That's that's plain and simple. Ice cream. Just <laughs> ice cream is is life when you're going through a breakup. Ice cream is heaven. Ice cream is ice cream is just perfect. <gasps> oh God! Hi. Holy no! No! No, 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 I died. I can go get my stuff. Get Cortana, please, Cortana, don't. Please don't let me die and lose Cortana. I don't want to lose Cortana. I died in a corner, so my stuff should still be there, and I know where I died. <laughs> but yeah, ice cream. Ice cream and chocolate, um, hanging out with friends, distractions, play some Minecraft, uh, watch some videos, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> That's not a self-plug there, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, just do whatever makes you happy, and try to get your mind off the person, get your mind off the breakup, the dick that broke your heart, I don't even know, just don't think about it, um, think about something else, try to, um, feel better. Just, I don't know. Then I can't speak. I gotta get my stuff back and then I can talk and I can tell y'all everything. Ah. So I think I'm gonna end off this episode pretty soon, like in the next few minutes or next minute or so. Uh, just because I... Okay. I think I'm just gonna do that because I, yeah. I need sleep. Um, I was playing with you guys earlier, 
with some of you rosebuds on um, Mindplex. If you guys ever want to uh, play with me, I do record with my rosebuds. If you haven't seen that, um, I do post videos where I record with my rosebuds. And y'all can check those out, and then you can play with me when it happens. Um, just check my Twitter, and I sometimes tweet out what lobby I'm in. Most of the time, it's lobby 32. Um, but just, yeah. I'll be there, and, um, we're actually about to hit nine, or about to hit a hundred subscribers. A hundred rosebuds. I am going to cry. I don't know if you know, but I've only been on YouTube seven weeks. Like, that's not even close to the amount of time as some of my friends, and my friends have, like, they're gr growing slower, which means you guys are just amazing. I'm not saying anything bad about my friends. Actually, go subscribe to them. Be nice. Be Share the love. I don't know. Uh, but that's just, that's amazing. That's outstanding. I I cannot believe it. Um, I never expected I'd even get to 100. Um, my ultimate goal for YouTube is 100,000, but I really, I don't, I didn't see that happening. But with you guys as my amazing rosebuds, I honestly, anything is possible. You guys are amazing, and um, I'm going to do my 100 subscriber Q&A um, as soon as I hit it. And um, yeah, so check on Twitter, or ask me questions below even if you watch the point of the video. I don't know if anybody has, but uh, yeah, just I'll talk to you guys then, Rosebuds. Um, and don't forget to leave a topic for the next Rosie's View episode down in the, dis the comments. I, I speak English. I promise. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I can see my reflection in the screen. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Just try to um, keep being amazing. Just keep being amazing, Rosebuds. Y'all are all perfect to me, and I would never want to lose any of y'all. So, yeah. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but let me just, let me just, yeah. So, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Rosie's View. Sorry this one is late. Besides, uh, um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I actually was sick Thursday night, so I could not uh, record. I see that gas. So, I could not record Thursday night, which I usually record Rosie's View on Thursday night. So, um, yeah, this is going up on Saturday. Yeah, I'm recording this on Friday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!